we are asked to find the divisors of 12. Now to start off, we're going to find the factors of 12, which are 1, 12, 2, 6, and 3, and 4. Now we notice that 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4 are all factor pairs of 12. A factor pair of a number means that those two factors, multi the product of those two factors is equal to the number they are a factor of. In other words, 1 times 12 is equal to 12, 2 times 6 is equal to 12, and 3 times 4 will be equal to 12 because these are all factor pairs of 12. So the product of the factors of 12 are 1 times 12 times 2 times 6 times 3 times 4, which is the same as 12 to the power of 3, because this is equal to 12, this is equal to 12, and this is equal to 12. 12 to the power of 3 is equal to 1728. Now let's move on to the next problem. What is the product of the divisors of a number n if it has d divisors? Now obviously this problem is going to be a bit harder because we are not given the divisors of n. We're just told how many divisors it has. So let's go back to our last problem. We see that 12 has three factor pairs, which is half of the number of factors 12 has, because each factor pair is made up of 12 factors. That's what a pair is. So, if a number n has d divisors or d factors, it will have d divided by two factor pairs. So, we'll have n times n times n times n times n, on and on and on, d over 2 times. Because, we could order them like we we could order the factors like we did up here and make it so that each factor pairs next to each other so if we multiply n by itself d over 2 times that's the same as say, taking n to the d over 2 power so this must be our answer and this should work for any number so now let's do the last problem. What is the product of the divisors of 25? Now we saw previously how to find the product of the divisors of a number. First, we need to find how many divisors the number has. We can do that using prime factorization. The prime factorization of 25 is 5 to the power of 2. So this number has 2 plus 1 factors, which is equal to 3. If you haven't seen my video, on finding how many divisors a number has, I'll leave the link in the description. So we know it has three divisors, so we take 25 to the power of 3 over 2, which is the same as 25 to the power of 1 and 1 half. Now we can split this number apart into 25 to the power of 1 times 25 to the power of 1 half, because when you multiply two numbers with the same base, you add their exponents. So this is the same thing. Now we know 25 to the power of 1 is 25. And 25 to the power of 1 half is the same as the square root of 25, which is 25 times 5. So our answer is 125.